Uh, well, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time out of your afternoon or your morning, uh, wherever you're located, to take a look at this webinar and kind of learn more about the ship gear to Starship transition and, and why you should move over to Starship. Um, first, I just want to say we appreciate your business all these years with uh, as a ship gear client, and we hope that you um, like what you see here and want to stay with the VTech team here and, and move over to Starship. So, going to run through a presentation here, take the next 20 minutes to kind of go over some information as well as some housekeeping items, and then. Um, answer some questions at the end if we have it, but I will go ahead and get started here. So many of you already know who we are, but for those of you who don't, um, VTech was founded back in 1987. Uh, many people think that, you know, ship gear was our oldest product, but Starship's been around since 1989 and is our flagship product. Um, over 10,000 companies have been utilizing Starship to help automate their shipping and their front office to really connect those two areas of, of the business there. So. We also have about 35 plus years of experience in various different ERP spaces. Um, whether you're looking to change ERP spaces in the future or stay where you are, we have solutions for you know many of the big players there and can help you kind of through that process as well. Kind of just a fun little fact about you know VTech. A lot of you are probably using UPS today. VTech was a recognized as a premier partner back in 2022. So you know we're very excited and very happy with that partnership with UPS and and, and love to have them kind of on our on our side here. So why use a multi-carrier solution? Well, uh, many companies that are use, utilizing a, many, a multi-carrier solution software often save up to 20% of their shipping costs and save time. So how can you do that with Starship? Well, Starship will help you be more cost effective with your freight spend. Um, it can help save you time by eliminating mundane tasks of going to different carrier websites for quotes or to set up orders. Um, and having to just bounce around from different website to website to you know check things and quote things, it, it can really be time consuming for you and your team. Um, you have multiple multiple service levels on one platform to keep everything in a uniform kind of uniform state across all your carriers. And a consolidated platform like Starship can really just help save time from you know having to go to various different places. Starship gives you the ability to be flexible and adaptable by automating the carrier selection for you based on your needs. So what that means is Starship can utilize it's what's called best case shipping, where we can go ahead and chip, uh, pick the cheapest carrier for you, quickest transit time to make sure that you're spending more time shipping and not more time you know, spending decisions, sp making decisions that don't need to be uh, made. It can be automated for you. Finally, you can reduce the re risk of delays and disruptions by switching to a new carrier in real time without a hitch. So with our direct APIs that we have built with our carriers, um, the carriers that you're utilizing, you can change and rate quote a new carrier um, within seconds to make sure you're picking the direct carrier that works best for you in the specific order that you're shipping out um, that day. So what comes with Starship? Well, of course, you have parcel and LTL processing all in one solution. Um, so no need to bounce from a UPS or a FedEx platform and then various LTL carriers that you might be using in your portfolio. Um, you also have the benefit of our USPS relationships to get the best uh, CEC rates out there. So we work with a, a few um, post, post office providers that can you know, provide great rates and we're working with VTech. So you have that option as well to kind of spread out your carrier portfolio. Um, you can leverage line item detail to help automate labels, documents for international BOL or hazmat orders, whichever you might be doing today. Um, Starship can also help drop shipping, right? So you can have different address IDs set up, set up inside of Starship to, you know, help automate the process of having to make sure the documents have the correct address on there for drop shipping scenarios that you're doing currently with uh, many of your customers there. And then of course you have the live rate shop, right? So you can have the with the click of a button have rates for your various carriers, very various services that you're using all within inside of Starship to kind of keep that in one place. You also have custom email notifications, so Anytime you ship an order, Starship's going to send a customized email to your customer saying, hey, thanks for your order. Here's the tracking link. So it takes, you know, it gives customer service time back instead of having to send those emails with tracking links. Starship can take that piece for you. And then, of course, metrics is such a huge thing these days to make sure that you're utilizing your freight spend the best way possible and, and to be able to save money where you can. It's kind of an area that everyone's trying to focus on. So Starship gives you metrics for better negotiations when going to the carriers, right? So it's going to give you, you know, total orders with the carriers, total total costs with carriers. You can show you heat maps to kind of give you an idea of where you're shipping to most. So you can take that information to the carrier and say, hey, 
how can we have a better discount to this specific area? We're shipping X amount of packages here. So it kind of gives you a, a better look and a better view of what you're shipping as a whole and how you can really utilize that to your benefit. So like I said earlier, we're, we work with various ERPs as well as you know inventory managements, WMSs, uh, EDI providers here. So here's a quick look. Um, at some of the ERPs and, and WMSs as well as EDI providers that we work with. So you'll see on here a lot of the main players. Um, so if you're currently utilizing any of those today, we can work with you to uh, make sure that they are working seamlessly with Starship and so you're not missing a hitch when you're shipping out orders each and every day. So why move to Starship Cloud? Well, uh, Starship's always going to be in the latest version, right? So instead of having to wait for updates to drop or wait for um, that next release, Starship will update itself every quarter. So we do a big update every quarter. So you'll wake up that next day and there will be a notification saying, hey, Starship's been updated. Um, check out what's been released. So you're not having to wait for that. Of course, you have access to unlimited users in all of our parcel carriers and all of our LTL carriers. This kind of gives you the ability to, you know, give anyone access to Starship if needed, create different permissions for different users who need to do different things inside of your company. But of course, it also opens up your portfolio for carriers to really make your make Starship more robust for you. So if you add a carrier down the road, you all you have to do is tell us or go ahead and Starship and add that carrier. Um, there's no needing to buy it all a cart. It all comes with Starship Cloud. And then, of course, we're trying to reduce a lot of your IT expenses, right? So no more upgrades or hardware expenses since Starship Cloud is is a cloud based application. All you need is just a little connector that we download into your ERP and then a Chrome browser to access Starship. And like I said, you have access to um, restrict different users from different functions, right? So you can give your warehouse team just shipping functions. You can give front office users better, uh, users be able to quote in there. You can also give you know, a CFO or anyone who needs to see metrics just reporting capabilities. So it really can kind of tie in everyone into Starship and give them the access that they need. And of course you can, if you're shipping seasonally, uh, Starship's a great tool for you because you can change your tier kind of forward or backwards if needed, depending on your busy seasons or slower seasons. It kind of gives you a grasp of your spend with Starship as well as your subscription. Um, so you're use, utilizing it the best way possible for you. So here's a quick list of the parcel and LTL carriers that we work with. Um, you're going to see a lot of the main players here, as well as some 3PLs that we work with. Um, so if you if you don't see a carrier on here that you're working with currently, ask us and let us know that you, you know you have carriers in your portfolio that might not be on the, this list. That doesn't mean we can't work with you. It just means um, we have different avenues, right? We have potentially you have a freight view that can give us carrier integrations for that, or as well as um, our BOL module, which is just a little bit of a manual process, but still allows you to kind of run everything through Starship to you know keep everything inside of one place for you. So I just want to give a quick customer testimonial from, from a Blackwater Creek here. Um, streaming, streamlining shipping logistics is crucial. Originally, the customer chose ShipGear to eliminate the inefficiencies and duplicate data entry between their accounting software and the UPS and FedEx systems. As their business began to grow and diversify into other products, they upgraded to Starship. The owner pointed out, as we expanded into big box distributors that purchased pallet loads of product at a time, we were doing a lot more ground freight and needed shipping software that could interface with more carriers and manage more complexity. You know, we think it's important to have a lot of customer references that are happy with Starship, right? Because you want to know that the product you're going to get is a great product that's going to work great for you. And we have a lot of customers out there who are happy with the move from ship gear to Starship. Um, it can seem like a tall task to, to move software kind of applications, but our team will work with you and support you to make sure it's easy and make sure you're utilizing Starship the best way possible. So as I mentioned earlier with Starship, you get a lot of different metrics and reports kind of out of the box here. So here's a bit of a screenshot of what it could look like for you, right? So you have various graphs on the left side of there showing top five customers and carriers. But then the right side, like I mentioned, you have that heat map, which gives you a robust view of your distribution points. So it's great to have that um, for high distribution areas that you're shipping to. So you can take it to the carrier and maximize those discounts that you're getting as well as areas you're not shipping to, right? So if you see an area that you're not shipping a lot of product into, it can help create you know, strategic initiatives around 
how can we tap that market? How can we push sales or marketing to get us into those, those specific markets so we can push more product there, right? It just gives you a kind of a holistic view of where you're shipping to and how much you're shipping to. Here's a quick little screen, screen grab of what it looks like inside of Starship. So um, this is kind of just a little view of what it looks like to pull inside an order there. And at the bottom, this is kind of where you would do that rate shopping. So um, you see at the bottom there, it gives you the list of carriers that you're working with and the services that you're working with, allowing you to be flexible with your freight spend as well as flexible with your shipping uh, transit times. So if you have a little bit of time to, you know, maybe get the get a product there later than you know it's not it's not a rush order you can choose a cheaper carrier who might take a day or two longer or if you need a rush service to get it there by a certain amount of time you can also filter your carriers off that date that you need to deliver by and starship will show you those carriers who can get it by that date to make sure that you um, meet that customer's requirements again here's a little bit of a view of the uh ltl rate shop here um, it's kind of showing a snippet of our Worldwide Express integration here, just giving you all of the carriers that they work with. So it's going to show you all the options um, that ha that can bring you the with the carriers and services you're working with, as well as you know that meet the requirements of the specific pallet count that you're shipping, as well as the weights. Starship's going to give you the specific carriers that kind of fit best for that and, and the cheapest rates possible for you um, through your different discounts that you're receiving. So you'll see here and be able to make that kind of decision of what works best for, for you and your team for this specific shipment. And you can change, you know, change the carrier here and I'll write back to your various ERPs as well. Here's a quick look at a label and packing slip. Um, you know, with inside of Starship, you can get your UPS labels, FedEx labels, all the documents that you're printing from, you know, BOLs, uh, packing slips, labels, pallet labels, um, whatever you're kind of working with today, Starship has a lot of labels and, and things out of the box that work for, a lot of our customers, but sometimes there's custom documents that you could be using from an EDI perspective or um, from you know any kind of e-commerce perspective. And Star, we can work with you if you have any custom documents out there that you need to kind of replicate in your shipping process. Um, we can always get our development team involved if needed. But Starship has a lot of capabilities out of the box to make sure that your labels and and documentation is being utilized the best way possible for, for your business here. Here's a quick look at the e-notify tool coming out of Starship. This is the customized and branded emails that you'll be utilizing when utilizing Starship here. So once an order shift and process inside of Starship, a customized email will go out to your customer saying, hey, thank you for your order. You see you can add tracking links and different, you know, kind of tables to put, you know, product information description, how much was being shipped. Um, so everything that your customer wants to see can be placed into these emails. Uh, you can have generic emails across the board, so everyone gets the same email. But you can also be more specific to your emails if you have a specific customer who's a larger customer and you want to kind of customize an email to them, you can do that as well. You can have as many, you know, email customizations as you want to and email templates inside of Starship. We're not going to limit you um, when utilizing this tool because it is a great tool to have, so it saves a lot of time for that customer, success, customer service team um, on the back end there. So what kind of wraps this up here? So don't let time run out, right? So ship your end of life is coming at the end of the year here. So um, with the, with that being said, ship your right now is kind of just a limited integration, right? There's no more bug fixes. There's no more enhancements. Um, it's kind of being pushed to that last little bit of time where it's going to be end of life here soon. We still have about 500 customers using ship your who need to migrate. So we're expecting high volumes of customers coming into Starship, moving over Starship towards the end of the year here, which is going to push back our already 10-week backlog in the product queue. We're expecting it to be in you know 12 weeks here shortly, and expecting it to potentially push further than that, depending on um, the kind of rush we have at the end of the year here. We also have our promotional pricing that could be changing soon, um, so don't have word yet what that looks like. We are running some current promotions right now, which I'll touch on here in a second, but. Um, that could be changed too, as well as our implementation fees and our service fees are going to be increasing October 1st. So if you're already speaking with one of your uh, sales executives, um, get with them to kind of discuss a process or a plan to get moved over as quick as possible. So you're not having to be hit with those implementation fees increasing as well as losing the chance of some of our promotions that we're currently running. Well, I appreciate you all joining today. I know that was just a quick presentation about, you know, benefits of Starship, why it makes sense to move to Starship and, and some of the value that you're going to receive there. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one.